All right, hey everyone, welcome to the third podcast of the LDG podcast. Today with us, we have ourselves Nilex, and I'm um, pretty sure you guys all know who Nilex is. He's a pretty well unturned content creator, very famous for his movies and his live roleplay um, server, and his also his his unturned series as well. So, um, yeah, we got ourselves a bunch of questions. We're currently live on Twitch as well, which later on we will be doing viewer questions at the very end. Um, but before we start, I would like to give a shout out to the sponsors of this podcast. First things first is we have ourselves Pine Hosting. Pine Hosting, they offer a, a huge variety of servers, not just Unturned, but a lot of games. Um, and they are very, very, very good. If you guys want to check them out, exclamation Pine Host in the chat. And uh, use code 30, use code LDG for 30% off. And we have ourselves Amok Studios, who is a team of professionals who work with you to make any types of mods or maps for your servers. And finally, we have Restore Monarchy, who make paid and free professional plugins for all types of servers. And they do a ton of guides regarding Unturned and also the plugins. So let's just let's just get straight into let's just get straight into the podcast. So Hello, Nilex. What's up, man? How are you? <laughs> How are Hello, you? Hello, man. It's going good. How are you? I'm, I'm all right. I'm all right. It's a tiny a bit hot right now, but other than that, pretty... It's hot for you, bro. It yeah. is freezing for me. I, I kind of wish I was where you are. Nah, Malta, it's, you know, it's always hot here, man. It's always... Oh, my goodness. Yeah. yeah. The UK is not... The past, like, couple of days, the weather has just absolutely dipped. It is, like, uh... two degrees outside. It oh, is damn. Not good. Nah, yeah, the minimum freezing. in Malta... Snow... <laughs> yeah, go on, go on, go on. We had snow the other day. It's like bloody snowing on my way home. Oh, <laughs> it was crazy. Damn. No, we never. We literally never have snow in Malta. And like the minimum, the temperature is like 15, 14 degrees Celsius here. It's crazy. Wow. See, yeah. that's shorts and t-shirt weather for me. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So uh, let's just get started. So I do have myself a few questions about first things about Unchained, and then we'll go over to questions about like the Life or P series that you have. And yeah, at man. the end, we have like about your channel and all of that. So uh, let's let's get started. So the first question I have for you is a very generic question that I ask everyone: Is uh, how did you find out about Unturned? Ooh, well, I've told this story a few times, um, and it's weird. So I had a friend in high school, and we'd play PC games together all the time. Uh, and he was oh, I've I've found this new game that I've been playing, and this was like. 2014 when the game just came out oh uh, damn steam at least and uh he told me all about it and i hopped on and i was like bro this is the best game ever and then it like i started playing it more than him um okay but yeah it was just it was just a friend in high school uh and then it was weird because then we started watching like youtube videos about unturned like we watched all the update videos for me like big boom um oh, and right. then a few years later when i decided you know i'm gonna i'm gonna make some unturned videos and then I'm just like in that circle myself now. It's like yeah, it's, it's yeah. a weird, uh, it's a weird like full circle moment, I suppose. Oh, that's sick! All right, all right, all right. Yeah, I had a similar story as well. I had a friend that was like, "Yo, check out this game. It's like Minecraft." I'm like, "What? It's not like <laughs> Minecraft." So yeah, th that's basically. Well, yeah, you know what? <laughs> My friend lied to me as well. He said, "Because um, this was when uh, Unturned 2.0 was, you know, the oh, game." Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was like, "Yeah, bro, you, you fight robots in it." I was like, okay, that sounds kind of <laughs> okay. weird, but short. There was no robots in it. I don't know what he was talking about. Unless he thought the zombies were robots, I have uh, no idea. I mean, they did look kind of weird back then, so he, I probably they probably yeah, yeah, I suppose so. Um, you know, low poly and that. Maybe you could make that mistake, but yeah, that was uh, that was basically my introduction to it, and okay. then we, we just started playing. Nice, nice, and here you are now. So you've been playing this game for around like if it's 2014, like almost 10 years now. Literally, yeah, like over 10 years. That's crazy yeah. to think about. I've never even thought about it like yeah. that. Wow. A decade yeah. of unturned. Damn. That's crazy. That's that a, a long lot of time. Unturned. <laughs> How much hours do you have in unturned, if you don't mind? Oh, bro, let me find out. I don't even think you want to know. Um, <laughs> I mean, I do have I do have myself a fair share, so don't, don't worry. Okay, this isn't, this isn't as bad as some people that I've seen, but my hours at the minute are 9,500. Okay. Yeah, I'm 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 eight thousand six hundred. So we're not that far off. So okay. To be fair, yeah, yeah that's yeah. not bad. That's, that's not bad. And we're um, not far off. <laughs> wow, that is a lot, though. <laughs> that is a lot. But a lot of people don't understand how much time it takes to actually make the videos as well. It's not like you have nine thousand hours of just playing the game. You know, it's, it's completely different for for oh, you, especially. My my Discord just crashed or something. Oh, oh no, audio. no, I hear you. I hear you. 
Wait. One second. Okay, okay. That's all right. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> What's up, chat? Give me one second, man. Sorry about this. It's okay, it's okay. <clears throat> Next podcast, Fudgy. I could give him a, I could give it a try. Next podcast is uh Z Man. I think we're back. Oh uh, hello, Sorry hello. About that. That's hello. completely okay. <laughs> welcome back, welcome back. <laughs> like I said, bro, my PC's been doing some crazy things recently. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> it's alright. You didn't crash though. I could still hear everything. Yeah, no, my uh, like audio driver just crashed for some. Oh, uh, okay, but... that's alright. That's alright. You're yeah, back. Yeah. You're back. I'm back. Let's go. <laughs> so. So yeah, I didn't hear the last part of that. Uh... Okay, so what I was saying was like for you especially, like a lot of the hours aren't actually just playing the game. You're like either working on the videos or you know doing thumbnails, you know, what that kind of stuff. Yeah. So, Definitely. It's, it's more, uh, I mean, I, I probably have more hours in like, you know, actually like creation of, of content than I do just playing, I suppose, like without recording it. So, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I right. mean, that's, that's the given, right? Like when, oh, yeah, when you're an intern YouTuber, you're going to be recording everything you do. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't play unless I'm recording. So <laughs> yeah, pretty much. All right. So let's go to the next question. All right. So do you play any created maps like Escalation or Arid? Like so I played a ton of Arid, um, but I've only I've only like tiptoed around Escalation. I've not actually had like a full on chance to just sweat Escalation out. Um, it's something I've been wanting to do uh, since it came out now. Um, but Arid, I I mean I did that whole series on Arid. I mean yeah, I, I remember that series. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, that I really really want to um, just yeah just go no life with Escalation, but I've just not had like the time to do it yet because you need to set aside like a good like two weeks of just oh yeah for sure playing, basically um but from what i've seen like all the you know all the clips of it and from what i've seen like a small bit myself like yeah it looks amazing yeah uh you know that you do know that there's a like a poster of your logo right on on it yeah i have seen that yeah, uh, yeah <laughs> that's which sick. makes me feel even worse for not actually like fully playing it properly yet uh it's okay i feel like i owe it you know nah it's all right it's it's uh, i recommend to check it out though in my opinion i i think it's one of the best maps in unchained so yeah 100 percent. i mean just uh, from what i've seen which i mean i've not i probably have like a couple hours in the map but okay. you know from what i've seen it's crazy and yeah i i really do just want to sit down and just sink days and days into it because uh it just seems like, I mean, obviously it's a natural progression, but with every curated map, it's just getting better and better. And like, it makes you think like, what's next, you know? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I can't wait for the next maps, to be honest. But yeah, I mm -hmm. recommend to check it out. I 1000%. It's, a, it's an intense map, you know? It's not like like all the other Definitely. maps. Yeah, yeah. All right. So That's what I like. Yeah, yeah. You you love it. Trust me. <laughs> if you liked Arid, <laughs> you, you're going to love Escalation. Absolutely. All right, so the next question I have, I mean, you kind of answered this already, but basically, uh, do you still play Unturned for fun where you just don't record and you just sit back and relax for like an hour and play like Unturned? Kind of, yeah. So if there's like, it, it comes in waves. So if I'm like super busy with videos, you kind of, after you've recorded all your videos, you kind of don't have anything left in you to just like play the game because you've been making videos for so long um but if there's like a time where i'm not so busy with videos or i haven't got anything coming up i'll just hop on like i like to just i don't know if this counts as playing but i like to just hop on my server and just like just oh. mess around with people like it's not necessarily like i'm grinding or anything but i'm just no i mean i'm just like going around and, and having fun with people which i guess counts but yeah um, yeah it does it does <laughs> Yeah, I kind of, it's more like just going in there and admin abusing, but in the best way. <laughs> exactly. I mean, it's, yeah. it still counts, technically. You're still playing on turn, you know, so. yeah, Absolutely, I but I have really been wanting to, this is crazy because it's nothing what I do on YouTube, but I have been wanting to just go and play like straight up vanilla unturned um, okay. for a while now. Because it's like, that's kind of what got me into it. And that's, you know, my fondest memories of it is just playing like flat out vanilla unturned. Exactly, um, yeah. And I really, really want to get back into that because it's like, that's what Unturned is, you know? Yeah, yeah. Sadly, there aren't really on vanilla servers anymore, though. It kind of sucks. That's the thing. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. All right. So, uh, next question I have. All right. This is a bit of a deep question. Um, but what do you... All right. So, you know how the current state of Unturned is. So, what do you think that mm. in the future, like, what do you wish to see in Unturned in the future? Is there anything in I mean, particular? 
I just wish to see the game flourish. I think it's one of those games where, like, not, like, on the grand scheme of things, not a lot of people kind of know about it, or at least not a lot of people play it. And I feel like, especially with the state of um, the curated maps and all the custom servers that people have, I think it's one of those games that has, like, incredibly, like, untapped potential. I feel like it needs to... It still needs to flourish, even though it's been so popular for so long and it has been declining recently. Um, but I feel like it's it still hasn't reached its peak or at least its potential um, because it just keeps getting better and better. And Nelson's still taking such care of it. He's not like abandoned it. If anything, he's, you know, he's just as involved with it as ever. Um, and I feel like it just needs to become even more popular. And obviously that's what I want to see because it deserves it, you know? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's something that I, I actually would love to see. So to be honest, um, each map gets better. So I I understand what you mean. Yeah, I do think yeah. that it's just like I don't know me personally. What I think like that should happen is like I don't know. Like Nelson pays like a large YouTuber or something like to do like a sponsored video. I think like when PewDiePie did an unturned video years ago, <laughs> yeah. the game blew up like crazy. Imagine like if someone does it this like now, you know, it would be insane. That's all it needs. Yeah. It's like the Fortnite effect. It's like, yeah, obviously Fortnite is like a fun game and all that, but I feel like the reason behind its popularity isn't just how fun it is. It's how like popular it was among like creators and especially the most popular ones. Everyone's playing it. It makes other people want to play it. And then it becomes a sort of, oh, well, I saw my favorite streamer or my favorite YouTuber play it, so I'm going to try it out. And then they enjoy it, and it's just a big snowball effect like that. And I feel exactly, like Unturned yeah. needs that. Um, because it's well and good having like people like me and you who solely create Unturned content, but that's we're still in the bubble of Unturned. Yeah, exactly, exactly. If it was like an outside YouTuber, then it'd be, yeah, it would be crazy to see it blow up. And I really do feel like it has the potential to do so. I mean, the game is especially these days it's i'm confident in saying it's pretty polished and uh it, it definitely has one of those i mean it's, it's unlike any game i've ever played that's for sure and i feel like whoever plays it will enjoy it it's not one of those where it's oh it's not for me it's not for everyone but i think everyone would enjoy it if they played it but they just need to know about it to do exactly, that exactly you know? yeah there was recently like on a, a rust turn there was a, a rust youtuber i forgot his name and he like mm. I, I, he did a rust turned video, and from that rust turned blew up like crazy. It was like a few That's years ago. Bro. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Like if if that happens now on like uh, on, on any map like Washington, whatever, I think it would actually like boost up unturned like crazy. I would love yeah, to see and that. Yeah, I feel like the vanilla game might actually get a bit more, um, you know, players popular. As well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, because it's at the minute vanilla is like. No one's playing vanilla. Yeah, which sucks to be honest, because it's how, yeah, how it's, the game is supposed to be, you know. So exactly, man. It's all it's all like you said, Rust turned or you know, Life RP or whatever. It's all the custom stuff, which is great. But of I course, do think vanilla deserves a bit of love as well. Definitely, yeah, of course. <laughs> 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 all right. So next question. So we're going to go a bit off from Unturned, but what is your favorite game apart from Unturned, obviously? Yeah, well, you know what? Unturned is... I, I, I feel like it can't be anything other than Unturned, right? I mean, Unturned is basically my life <laughs> in yeah. terms of, like, <laughs> what I do every day. But besides Unturned, um, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. I do really enjoy Counter-Strike. Okay. I've been, I've been a Counter-Strike player longer than I've been an Unturned player. Um, though recently, I've not really played much. Um, and then aside from that, give me give me the the call of duty modern warfare series and okay. just pick one and and i'll i'll, I'll have it all right, um, all right i think all that right. has to be that has to be up there i mean obviously there's minecraft but who you know that's in a league of itself oh yeah no of course but of course yeah but i think in terms of like yeah games like that i'd say those are my picks okay. it's really hard to pick a top one though like it's if I had to pick a top one, bro, it might have to be Minecraft. I'm not going to lie. I'd have to ditch the others. I mean, Minecraft is goated, so I don't blame you. It I is. mean, I installed on you, What's your favorite? I currently, I would probably say Counter-Strike and Project Zomboid. Oh, damn. You play Counter-Strike too? Yeah, I'm bad at it. I'm like gold one, silver elite. That's it. But I know. mean, these days, I swear, rank just doesn't even matter. These oh, days. yeah, that's true. Yeah. Now, I, I play mostly to like with my viewers on stream and... Yeah, fun, oh, it's cool. fun. Yeah, yeah. Have yeah, you ever played is. Project Zomboid? Like, you know that game? 
I do know that game. Uh, I don't think I've ever played it. I've watched a lot of other people play it, though. Okay. And they've always told me how good it is. It's kind of gotten um, a resurgence recently, hasn't it? Like, yeah, it's quite yeah. an old game, and it, it was really popular back in the day. And I feel like it went a bit a bit downhill, and now all of a sudden it's it's really popular again. Oh, I've yeah, seen like, loads huge. of YouTube it's videos huge. about it, and everyone I know is playing it. And yeah, man, it looks super fun. It's amazing, yeah. If you should like, if you have some time, you should check it out. It's a hardcore, like it's it's a zombie survival game, but it's it's like hardcore, like everything matters. Like you could die to a cold, that kind of stuff. It's a really really good game. Yeah, I ha I've sat in Discord and just like had my friends stream it, and and they've just been playing, and uh, it it does look super fun. I think we even had like a server going at one point for like my my Discord staff team. Okay. Um, because literally, bro, everyone I know plays it. It's crazy. I don't know how I've not like hopped on yet. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 it's so good i'm starting to post videos on it <laughs> that's how, i know exactly yeah yeah, yeah yeah i did they don't get you that's know good, yeah I'm, I'm it's amazing man you've got a, you've got a, i think it's i mean it takes some balls to diversify content uh, yeah. anyway for um, sure for sure so, for sure <laughs> and i think it's natural for the views to be kind of lower um you know on, on non-unturned oh yeah i think you've just got to like just stick at it and then eventually you'll build the audience exactly yeah that's how that's how it, that's how it happened with unturn so you know why not with this game as well so yeah exactly all right so okay so the next question i have all right so me personally i've known you for years i've been watching your videos for a very very long time and the first mm -hmm. videos that i saw were like the nook or that those <laughs> kind of those kind of videos like the movies like the block black yeah, hawk raid bro. So, would you ever consider doing, like, another similar video to this in the future? I have heavily, heavily considered it. Um, and in fact, I actually wrote, like, the majority of one. Not even that long ago. Like, I want to say, like, a year ago. Um, okay, okay. And I, and I want to... I mean, you might not remember, but back in the day, I used to do videos uh, with a guy called Dubsy Dave. I he remember was, like, him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, bro. I mean, he obviously stopped playing the game years ago. But I still get comments to this day Damn. being like, where's Dubsy, bro? Where's, where's Dubsy? I miss him. And it's crazy because we're still like best friends in real life. Like okay. I was with him two days ago. Um, and he's always said like, I will come back for like a one, one off video, or, like a one or two videos. It and he, he said it for years. So like, I am more than happy bringing back. I wanted to bring back the, basically the old cast of like all those videos. Um, I think like everyone would be on board um but it's just one of those things where it's like logistically is it possible i don't know i mean but yeah. i definitely do want to do it um <laughs> that would be it's amazing something i've had planned for a while i don't th I, I can't promise it'd come anytime soon but oh, like no. <laughs> but yeah i definitely want to do it like uh you know in the next like year let's say okay that that, that would be that would be actually really really cool like i i grew up watching sick. those you know like that that's my exactly, childhood man. right there so i do feel like it's Especially for the OG people, like, that used to watch me a while ago, that's kind of what I'm known for instead of, like, the Life RP stuff. So it would be amazing to do, like, a throwback to that. And I feel like now especially, because, bro, I mean, they were good back in the day, but if you watch them now, oh, yeah. they're not that good. <laughs> no, and I feel like I mean... I've gotten way better at making videos now that, like, if I was to apply, I guess, the skills I've got now to a video like that, it would just be a banger it oh yeah be... for sure for sure 100 i kind of toyed around with it with you know with the arid series i did i that was kind of like me funneling that um i guess creative process but on like a little mini series i okay. tried to make it very survivally and very like you know movie like like i did uh in the past and i feel like that was it turned out quite well so to actually apply it to like a full you know big old movie just like just like in the good old days then yeah i would love to all right, yeah, I'm and looking would, forward to that then. <laughs> I'm gonna. Sure, that's gonna Maybe be you insane. Get a cameo in it. Oh, I would be so happy, man. <laughs> that, that would be, be sick. Yeah, that would. I would love that, <laughs> bro. <Bruh. laughs> All right, so let's get over to okay. The next question, yeah. So, what made you start a live roleplay series? You know what? I think it was. Uh, I kind of. I can't really remember, but I think I was kind of backed in a corner in a way um i just finished the survival series which towards the end like i kind of took it in a weird direction i didn't really like how it was going um and i decided to end it and then i was like what do i do now i was like okay. i went from doing these movies for like years to i think i spent 
about a year and a half on the survival series and i was just like what what do i do now and i didn't really fancy starting another survival thing i didn't really fancy you know going back and making the movies so i was just like you know what i've always wanted to try this life rp thing okay and at the beginning it was only meant to be like a small series while i like really gathered what i wanted to do um and i was like yeah i'll just you know i'll do like 10 episodes or something and see how it goes um and so yeah i started i got the server ready um i basically luckily enough the workshop was thriving with like life rp stuff back then i just i just took a map that already existed um put it on the server and just used that basically and it's kind of still the map we use today we've heavily heavily tweaked it but it originated from that one um and yeah i was like yeah we'll do a couple episodes here and there just while i figure out what i want to do and then it turned out to be probably the most fun i've ever had making videos and um great success to the channel so here we are like a hundred episodes later <laughs> yeah 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 i i saw your recent video they're they're really good like i'm not a fan of role play Thanks, but they're really really like high quality you know so keep it up man yeah no know? i appreciate that man i think it's I, I try and just keep it story driven is the the main thing exactly um, yeah 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 it's weird you've got to appease to a few different types of audiences so there's there's the ones that really like the story behind the whole series so you've got to sprinkle a bit of that in there but then there's people that just like the action and the gameplay and you've got to kind of mix it together so i think i do a decent job at it and uh yeah i mean quality comes above all you see my upload schedule if something isn't right we go back and do it again that's, no matter how long it takes i love that yeah I, i'm kind of the opposite way like i i do i don't post something if it's bad or bad quality but like, um, I don't mm. like, you know, like, how can I explain it? Like, uh, my videos, like, they're just pure gameplay, you know? They're not like... I yeah, don't... I suppose it's not... Yeah, it's not like a thing you have to write and script. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I just go back. hop yeah. on the server, whatever happens, happens, you know? Uh, yeah, I suppose it's what you do with the commentary and the footage after that that really... Yeah, exactly, the, the yeah, yeah. To... Absolutely. And your videos, I mean, they're a lot more fast-paced and they're a lot more, like... I mean, bro, you're like you're the goat of the PvP videos. 100%. Of course, I mean, of course. you you're on like that daily upload grind, more or less. It's crazy, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. I play on like a two-hour-long server, and like from it, I can get like a video and a half from it. You know, it's it's crazy. That's really good. Yeah, Damn. yeah. I think yeah, I'm trying to my. I think it really only takes about I'd say maybe four or five hours to record a video, but oh damn, then it's it's everything else. It's you know we don't just do like. Obviously, the recording part, it's its the scripting, obviously the editing and stuff. But even before that, if there's any assets we need making for it, that needs to get done and that takes time. And yeah, so of it's, course, it's of a course. whole process. Yeah. Take... Like that last video, I think there was there was like three or four vehicles needed for it. Obviously, the big the big jug suit that I was wearing uh, needed to get that made as well. Okay. Uh, and then a few map changes. And yeah, it's... And then it's like you need to go into the server and decorate the places that you're going to be going. Oh, yeah, in, for in sure. For, you're probably really good at map making now as well, right? <laughs> yeah, you know, it's weird. Like, I do a lot of the map making stuff for the videos. I didn't used to, um, but nowadays I've kind of gotten the hang of it and I just I just go and send it all. But I am very lucky to have, like, a solid group of people around me that can help with, you know, if it is, like, a really complex map thing I need, I got someone that can help me out. If it's, I mean, assets the the dev team for the life rp server are absolutely cracked they are insane i'll be like bro i need this they're like yep done um, oh that's okay you, you know it, it, i'm really lucky to have and not just that but even people that help out with making the videos it's not just me like we have like little director roles i suppose you could call them and they okay. kind of organize people and just make sure it's like a nice smooth pro uh, yeah, process yeah yeah nobody like um, you know ruining ev anything or whatever you know because yeah exactly and it's, I mean, bro, before, like back in the day with those movies I used to make, they would take weeks to make because the organization was not there. And it was just like, uh, yeah, let's hop on this day and, and do it. And it was all just kind of winging it, which I guess was nice. But also it means stuff just didn't get done. So now having like a solid team is so, so good. And it's the probably the best change I ever made in terms of production, like just having people there that can help. Because I, I always thought I could do it on my, on my own. I could, I'm a one-man band, but definitely not. Nah. Even even I even I need help. For example, for thumbnails or whatever, it's kind of hard to do everything alone nowadays. To be honest, so of course it is, especially yeah. with the quality that's required on YouTube these days. The competition's crazy. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, that is true. If you want your thumbnail to stand out on the homepage, bro, you better it's, make sure it's good. Really yeah, good. yeah. And I struggle with thumbnails, to be honest with you. So 
for me to get yeah. a good thumbnail it's it's yeah <laughs> it's hit and miss for me i have an idea in my head and sometimes I'm really good at like putting that idea onto you know the screen and making it look good other times it'll just go horribly wrong and i have to just redo it all but oh damn yeah it's hit and miss hit and miss sometimes colors don't work out the way you think they will and it doesn't look what, yeah right, it's exactly all together but <laughs> yeah we get there in the end yeah at the end you always arrive thankfully so you know all right so uh next question we have is okay so Keeping on the live roleplay, do you have a plan on how many more episodes you're going to post for the series, or do you just as much as possible, you know? It's so hard because, like, I'm having so much fun with it, and you wouldn't even think, like, after 100 episodes, like, wow, bro, you're not sick of it, and it's honestly, no, I'm not. Like, I'm, I'm, I think it's because of the direction we're taking the series in, you know, we're on a new map now, and we've got new storylines and stuff, so it's always, like, different, and it's always fun. So I kind of don't want it to end right now. I don't have, uh, obviously, a number of episodes in mind, but I have, like, a direction for the series and, a you know, where the story's going to go in mind. After that point, I don't know. I'll, I'm thinking if, you know, if I'm still enjoying it, then I'll write more. If not, then who knows? Okay. Who knows? But, yeah, I don't have a specific number you don't have all right all right, all right. No, when example, i stop enjoying it is when it'll stop I think. exactly that's the important thing the important thing is to have fun man so yeah for sure if you can do a thousand episodes and you're having fun in those thousand episodes then go for it you know <laughs> exactly bro that's it all right um okay so in your videos and in your server you do showcase like a lot of mods and that kind of stuff is there like a specific mm. mod that you're really a fan of like you want it to be in every video for example I don't know about being in every video, but there is a mod, which is my wholehearted favorite mod out there. And that is the More Farming mod by a guy called Dog Food. He is okay. I know that incredible. one. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. I mean, that is, it more or less may as well be part of the game at this point. I feel like every server uses it and it's almost a necessity now because of the, you know, the abilities that you have within that mod, like all the crafting and farming abilities you have with it um it's almost needed it's crazy but yeah i mean it's weird because there's no guns there's no cars in it it's nothing like that it's just a really nice mod with with food and farming and equipment and decorations exactly yeah. um but it is so well made and all the systems in it are just spot on they're perfect so uh yeah that would be my favorite mod all right. for sure yeah i really like this um, mod something that i like about this mod is that it keeps getting updates it keeps getting you know like new stuff literally yeah like the i pretty sure it didn't get updated for like a year maybe two and oh, damn. Okay. i think we all thought yeah he's done with it and yeah. then all of a sudden he just drops this huge update with a ton of different things exactly in it. Yeah, um, yeah yeah and yeah i mean i follow him on twitter and he posts a bunch of updates of stuff he's working on and every single post is like a banger it's and he's what he's i don't know the way that he's kind of taking unturned vanilla systems and making them work in a way that he wants uh yeah it's it's brilliant it's really really good very i clever. love it i love it yeah i've i've seen so it a lot of, yeah definitely i mean it's pretty much everywhere yeah, um, yeah. every and, modded and server has it is, it is in every video i suppose but apart from that i would say probably just our own mod pack for life happy i mean all the guns in it i, okay. I use nordic quite a lot but we do have our own pack um which it's yeah. just for you I mean, for your server basically yeah we've got i mean the dev team just uh, wow you should see the amount of assets we have it's crazy i mean i i don't blame you the videos like they sometimes like they don't feel like it's on turn you know that's how good they are so it's yeah i mean that's the goal really just to just to make it it's like its own world you know yeah i love that i love that i love that all right uh okay so that brings us to the next question okay so we you've you've mentioned this earlier kind of but it's a bit different so how long does it take you to make a full video? So like from planning, you, you write the script, recording, editing, all of that. Like how long on average does it take you? Well, the easy answer is that it depends. But to really break it down, uh, I would say I usually like to set aside a couple days, maybe a few days to write the scripts. In terms of hours, obviously I'm not working on it all day, every day. But of course, of course. It, does, it, it will take like a solid few hours just to get the ideas. I'll be toying around with so many different like ideas and i'll be like in game just kind of playing out the scene with no one else there um just see if it looks good uh so that takes yeah a good few hours but then in terms of once that's written we're chilling the recording session takes maybe i'd say five hours to be generous okay okay 
but we sometimes split it up into two days editing probably i could get that done in maybe two days three days okay um, all right it's not that so bad all then, in yeah. all i could i could if i wanted to um and it, everything goes like right i could probably do a video every week maybe week and a half uh, okay. but then if you're not factoring in like the assets and all that stuff like your devs need time to make it and oh and yeah that. for sure but, it's gonna take yeah, longer yeah. i definitely definitely i'd say i don't know how many hours but in terms of days i would say a, a week okay It'd yeah that's not a, bad then Alfred yeah, yeah. i, I it's honestly not bad. thought it, could it be takes better. more to be honest with you yeah um, the biggest part about it is the ideas and the planning and the story because i'm always second guessing it and i always like double check and every well not every scene but a lot of the scenes are very um I, not like planned out to a t but okay specific things have to happen and it's all written that way it's all written that way so I, right. I don't know it, i'd say about a week but i do want to try and like you know get it lower so i can do if i could do weekly videos bro that'd be a breeze i'd love that but that would be amazing to be honest yeah <laughs> it's just yeah man it's just the i don't know maybe i need to finally get an editor but uh... i don't know it's, it's like it's like handing away the something special about the videos right like that's what makes them exactly i i, I relate like. with you on the like people tell me let me edit their videos but i actually sometimes i don't feel like it but i actually enjoy editing them myself you know and making yeah, sure it's how yeah. i want it so 100 percent. and as well i don't know if you do this but when you're recording a video and like you kind of make a mental note oh i'm gonna edit it like this and you as yeah, you're like yeah, there yeah. recording it you kind of have an idea in your head that i'm gonna edit it like this yeah and so exactly. when you actually go to to the clip and you're editing it you remember oh i oh. said i was gonna do this and there you go <laughs> yeah so yeah yeah I weird, relate. no one else will be in your brain like only you have your oh, brain no no they wouldn't look. know they <laughs> they would be like okay they they understand how i would like it but it's still kind of different you know it's, it's... oh yeah they could do like 95 percent of of the video but that last little five percent the details and and the pacing and everything that's what really kind of ties it together i feel exactly yeah yeah okay all right so yeah you take a week me personally i take like for a full video it takes me like two hours to record the video and then like like two hours to edit it so that's why yeah that's not bad that's how i like do it like a daily video ish you know yeah i mean four hours a day sounds pretty good yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's yeah i mean for a full video i mean does that include the thumbnail and stuff as well oh no the thumbnail it takes me like i usually take the thumbnail like on a separate day to be honest yeah, me too, literally. I'll sometimes even make the thumbnail before I've made the video. Because it's just uh... like, I want to get it done out the way. Because sometimes it just takes forever. I've done it before where I've whipped up a thumbnail in like an hour. And it's like, oh, damn. perfect. But then others, I'll be spending like a solid like two days just trying to get it to work and look good, you uh, know? I see, I see. Okay. Well, sometimes I'm so though... Lucky though my girlfriend's an artist and she's oh. like really really good with color theory and the amount of time she's helped me out with video uh, with thumbnails is incredible like oh, I'll, I'll have a thumbnail i'll be like this doesn't look right like what's what's wrong with it and she'll be like oh you need to do this 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 damn and i do it and it looks perfect i'm like wow that is beautiful bro that's actually really <laughs> lucky to be honest with you <laughs> it is bro it is she's even done like um little bits of i don't know how i'd even describe it a little bits of not art, but she's kind of enhanced my thumbnails a bit before. Oh, like, okay, uh, okay. She's done. I remember I did this one where I had like this tray of crystal meth, and it just oh looked my a God. bit crap. <laughs> and she was like, "I know, bro." <laughs> and she was like, "Let me make it look better." And she added like cracks in all the in all the okay. on the tray, and she added like these bubbles coming off it, and a, and a glow on my face and everything. It was really good. So I'm <laughs> very lucky. Yeah, I feel like my is... thumbnails wouldn't be half as good if I hadn't have like you know got that knowledge from her of course of, yeah that like you got yourself like a, a, a huge helping hand there which is really yeah, man, really, definitely it's really crazy. good but yeah going back to like recording the videos i don't think this happens to you but me personally it happens so much so like i i, I join a server i'm like okay i want to record here in 10 minutes i'm like okay i don't want to record here because <laughs> either people are like everyone leaves the server it's a dead server so there's no point playing there or like an hour in and I get raided by a seven man team, you know, it's... I can imagine it's so annoying because yeah. especially with how your videos are, I mean, it's just look at the draw and you could put in hours of work all for it to be shattered in the, in the last moment. Exactly. And then the it happens hey, so I much. I imagine that's awful, bro. On a good day... Do you day... ever get like... 
if you're like in the middle of a, a video or like towards the end and you, you're doing like, you know, the final, the final fight or the final yeah. battle or whatever, do you ever get like super nervous? Not just because you oh, want to yeah. win, but because if you don't, you don't have a video. Exactly. You know, man, it's exactly like if uh, it's, it's crazy. If, if this doesn't happen, it's not a good video. If I don't get a raid, it's not a, I'm not uploading it. It's insane. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I bet that's crazy. I bet that feeling is mental, bro. <laughs> it's just so scary the sometimes. Strength. Like, like, okay, so let's say I have a rivalry with, like, a three-man team, okay? And I know mm. where they live, they know where I live. I, for the whole time, I'm scared that they're gonna raid me before I raid them. Because if yeah, they raid I me bet, before, bro. it's over, you know? It's, it's, it's I crazy. can imagine. See, with me, I don't have that stress, because I'm like, right, I'm hopping on to record a video that I know I'm gonna upload, because I have control. And... I think the only times I could even relate a little bit to that is if I've written a video and then I hop on and it's like the scene doesn't play out as I imagined and I have to like, I'm like, oh, this wasn't a good idea. I need to go back and rewrite this or something. Ah, uh, I see. But nothing, yeah, it would only be like one scene in the video. So we just skip to the next one and then okay. that's it. But okay, okay. It, I've never had any, yeah, I've never really, I've had a couple videos which are like, yeah, they, they they didn't really go well, and I did have to go back and record a lot of it and, you know, make it good. But uh, that was my own fault, so I can't really, you know, blame the look of the draw for that. I just didn't write it well, so... Yeah, I mean... But most part, it's smooth sailing. I just, I write it, it's good, I get on. And I know I'm recording this, and I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna upload it, you know? Okay. No, I mean, it's not an easy thing to do, to be honest. Like, what you do is not an easy thing at all. I would never do yeah. that. It's I, I think it's too hard for me. <laughs> See, I'd say the same about you. I'd say like, I would never be able to like put myself under that much stress and pressure to do that. Because <laughs> um, it's I think we've both got hardships in the way that we make videos. True, sure. true, true. But have you ever been in a situation where you think you're recording, but you didn't hit the oh, record Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> because I have been in that situation oh before. Oh my, God. <laughs> nah, the worst thing is, okay, I've got an insane video. OBS crashes, nothing saves. Oh, oh man, that's uh, horrendous. What I do for that to not happen is every hour, I just stop the recording and start all over again. So it's like a different clip. So at least if it crashes, it crashes like just one hour out of like a whole series, you know? It's yeah, that's a good idea, to be honest. Yeah, yeah I think, that's what I do. We, I record scene by scene, so my clips are only like 20, 30 minutes long each, okay. so I'm lucky that. And to be fair, my OBS, has happened before where it's crashed, but just continued recording anyway, and I didn't lose anything. Oh, so. damn. I've never oh. actually had it crash and not had any data, but oh, that's, I don't know. That's I record lucky. to uh, like MKV files so that even if it does crash uh, midway through. I see. No, I do them MP4. Page. That's probably why then. I would recommend OBS does a, it's got like an automatic system that it just converts to MP4 for you. It's so easy. So basically the way I have it set up, I record. And then when I stop recording, I have an MKV file oh. and then it automatically generates the MP4 file as well. So you oh, basically damn. have like duplicate clips, but if anything happened during the recording, if your PC shut down, you had a power cut, anything, the footage would still be saved in that MKV file. So it's All so right. handy. I'd, I'd recommend it. Bro. Yeah, I would definitely give it, <laughs> give this a look then. One thousand percent. This sure, is actually man. really good. I didn't know this. Yeah. I did not. <laughs> I'm so happy now. <laughs> yeah, I learned. I learned the hard way as well. Definitely. But it's, uh, it's so useful. Well, of course, I would. I would go on YouTube after this and search how to do this. So. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> all right. So, um, all right. So I have myself the final question, and then we'll go over to viewer questions. I've already seen a few viewer questions. Um, in the chat, and I am scared. But uh, oh, dear. yeah. So the the all right. So the main question is for the future. Like, what is the plan? Um, what is your plan for the future of your channel? Basically, like, do you have like, I don't know. Well, uh, so that's a big question. That is a deep question. I yeah. think it all depends on, I guess, how much fun I'm having with it. So right now, life happy is chilling. I'm loving it. Um, I have really been itching to like do other things as well. Uh, I definitely would love to branch out into similar but other games. Okay. I think especially the way that I make videos on Unturned, I think if I applied the same kind of style to other games, I think it'd, it'd do well and people would enjoy them and I'd enjoy making it. So that's definitely something that I've been wanting to do for quite a while. I've just never really made the leap. I do 
I do actually have a second secret channel which hasn't launched yet. This is the first oh. time anyone's hearing live, oh. live on the pod. Yo. Um, <laughs> So I will be announcing that sometime soon in the future. And that's really where I want to do a lot of just just random things that might not be unturned. I okay. will be unturned on there as well. But I have ideas for it, which do involve other games and just more, I guess, laid back casual things. You know, the main channel is very scripted story based stuff. All right. I'd like to do other things, whether it's on the second channel or whether I'm just going to do it on the main channel. I don't know yet, but I definitely do want to kind of leap and, and go into different content i love i'd that. never i'd never leave the unturned life ip stuff behind unless i wasn't enjoying it but i want to do it in addition to what i'm doing now right. as well yeah so like like you have like for example like 50 percent unturned life rp and 50 percent other stuff for example yeah i mean the thing is the the quantity of life rp episodes won't be affected it'd just be additional videos okay. with something else really um but we do have like a f a bunch of other servers in the works as well in terms of the next uh i guess a lot of people would be happy to hear that bootleg is making a return um oh. i've never done a bootleg uh, a bootleg server before oh that's and cool. I've barely played on it either so i had a, a really generous dev team who were working on a bootleg server come to me and say yo we want to host this on your network so uh we you know talked back and forth a bit and that's coming to fruition very soon and let me tell you it's beautiful. It is a beautiful server, and uh, I really hope people enjoy it. So that might get a few videos. Uh, we have, you know, a few other servers in the, in the works, but nothing crazy to report yet. All and right. I just want, I just want to do other things as well as life happy. I think it'd be nice just to dabble in a few other things. You know, I love that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. What about you? Have you thought about anything like? Uh, well, what I'm, um, I mean, you've you've got the Project Zomboy thing going. Yeah, now, right? yeah, so exactly. That... So I'm I'm trying to do the same like. For now, like 80% on turn, 20% Project Zomboid, and hopefully, like, I grow a little audience with Project Zomboid, and then I, I yeah. like, you know, do 50-50. So that's currently what my plan is. I am doing the daily Twitch streams as well here for other games. Um, so Absolutely. I think I, I'm really happy how it is now. It's not just unturned. Uh, I'm really it enjoying good, it yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. Started this podcast, nice, too, so... Yeah, the, I'm, I think the podcast is a great idea. I think, uh, it's especially fun, man. It's not fun. even just from Unturned, but just just to sit and have a chat with people. It's just yeah, it is yeah, fun. exactly. But exactly. yeah, I mean, I think with because uh, it's it is obviously so fun making Unturned videos, and there's the amount of things you can do with Unturned is more or less endless. So it'll never get boring making Unturned videos. But I do feel like it would be nice just to see how other videos do and how different they are to make and. I'd never leave Unturned behind. I always said to myself, if I was to get a different audience for a different game someday, I'd probably just do it on a different channel and just okay. like, keep Unturned going. Because I feel like, I don't know, Unturned's, I've got a, it obviously has a place in my heart and I don't ever want to. Of um, course, of course. I can't see a day of me getting bored of it or anything because if I do get bored of like Life IP, then there's something else, you know, the, the, what you can do is endless. Like, I got bored of Survival and I just did Life IP and then exactly Who knows? you know yeah, yeah there's there's many ways to go i mean there's all the rust turn things there's an turn of which there's I've done a lot a bit, there's a lot fun. oh uh, there's all sorts bro it's crazy a lot the of people RP. like yeah yeah like there's you could do anything you want to be honest like if you just put your mind into it yeah anything is possible on turn nowadays like it's crazy like a lot of people say on turn is boring there's nothing to do in on turn which sometimes i say the, what i say is like what do you play on on turn and then they say Oh, I play, I, I don't want to mention any maps, but I play like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like I play on, pff, I don't know. Well, even if they are paying, like, playing like PEI or something. Yeah, like, yeah, it could yeah, still be PEI fun. PEI is a good map, obviously, but bro, it's been around for over 10 years. Exactly. It's, it's exactly. going to get boring if you just, if that's all you play. Exactly. Like, um, personally, I don't get bored of Unturned because I don't just play on one server. I play on like yeah, exactly. everything, you know? Like for... Yeah, and you know, it's weird. Like I, even though I really only play my own server, because we're changing and adding stuff to it constantly, it's it's just like it's a different it's content. Like the server is exactly. Game, yeah, yeah. and we're adding new content to it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so Unturned is not boring at all. <laughs> I agree, and this goes back to what I was saying. Is like there is something for everyone on Unturned. Like it's just getting the people to actually know it exists yeah yeah because exactly. i feel like that's the biggest problem it's like yeah there's all this like rust turn stuff and unturn of and all the cool curated maps and you know things like life happy but how do you get someone that doesn't play unturned to like look at that and be like 
that looks cool. I want to play it. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, exactly. Super hard. I think I've done a decent job with a lot of my videos. I feel like, I mean, the views they get don't equate to how many people play it on Turned. That's so true, I feel yeah. like <laughs> a lot of people that have never heard of the game probably watch my videos, think that looks cool, and then and then hop on. Yeah, they just enjoy it, um, you know? Yeah, yeah. Which is, which is good. I mean, I guess I've, you know, I'm kind of bringing some new audience to the game. Um, I tried a bit of TikTok as well. Oh. I need to get back on it because I didn't even advertise it, bro. I just started posting and the views went crazy, like millions of views on my TikTok. Oh, damn. Okay. I never, I I never shouted it out on YouTube. Yeah. It was like pure organic. Um, damn. And then I just, just stopped posting. I got too busy. Uh, but I had to hop back on it because I think that probably brought a lot of people. To oh, yeah, there. for sure. For sure. I do get sometimes so, uh, yeah. like... When I play Rust Turn and I, in the time in the title I do Rust Unturned to try to get Rust yeah. viewers to to watch, you know. Um, yeah, and like you said, that Rust YouTuber that you mentioned earlier played it, and if people are interested in Rust, they're gonna be interested in like, exactly, yeah. Rust. Not and turn, yeah. it's free you know rust isn't it's free, free bro so it's exactly free. <laughs> it is like i don't know why this game is more bro it's literally like a mini rock you can do what you, you can want do whatever as long exactly as, yeah like the tools nelson has provided is insane for modders especially these days it just keeps getting better as well like you can do anything more or less exactly yeah 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 i mean Every, everything is a, like everything is available. Like, I've heard of someone was doing Rocket League in Unturned. I was like, how the hell are you going to do Rocket really? League? Really? Yeah, yeah. I don't think they did it though. It was like a year. Crikey! Ago. I, so that would be a challenge. That's that, crazy. I don't yeah. know how they do that. I was thinking like rainbow hedgebacks in like a closed arena and like they do a ball or something. That would be insane to be honest. That would be sick. I'm not going to lie. That would be so cool. Rocket League in Unturned. <laughs> I mean, vehicles are definitely... I mean, they have gotten a hundred times better oh yeah for sure vehicle update. but for sure. they're still probably a weak point of the game um i mean you can drive them along along a, a grassy hill now which is good yeah yeah you but can for things like rocket league you'd have to i don't even know what it's you'd insane to do it's insane work. i don't <laughs> i don't know i have no idea it would be great if like they actually do it i need to check on them actually i should ask them <laughs> should yeah ask. that'd be sick bro. i'd love to see that it would be sick all right, so those are those were my questions. So now let's go over to viewer questions. Let's let's see what they have. All right, so Dash he asks this for everyone till now. For some reason, I don't know. He has a fascina fascination with alcohol. So he asks you, what's your, your favorite <laughs> alcohol? My favorite alcohol. Well, uh, just a casual a casual alcohol. I I like a good beer or a lager. You know what I really like actually? A Guinness. I love uh, a Guinness. I've took a big that. Yeah. A Guinness. That's I cute. used to drink it a while ago, and then I, I went off it. I just started drinking, you know, like lager and stuff. And then okay. recently, my friend got one in the pub, and I was like, you know what, bro? I'm going to get one as well. I oh. miss that. And it, it's beautiful. In terms of, like, more hard uh, alcohol, though, I, I do like whiskey, and I do like rum as well. A nice rum and coke. Can't go wrong. But oh. not really a drinker. That's the thing. I, I, I used to enjoy it every now and then, but I'm, these... Oh, your mic cut out. Oh, you hello. know? Yeah, yeah, it's good it's now. Up. It's good now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, you know what it is? It's this cable between my audio interface and my PC. Uh, That's what it is. I um, see. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, as I was saying, I think Guinness and then if we're going on to the hard stuff, it's got to be uh, a rum and coke. Okay. But like I said, I'm not really a drinker these days, so. Yeah. And I can't drink. <laughs> Judge me all you want, but I love a fruity cocktail. The cocktails are amazing, man. <laughs> yeah, bro. I, I love them. Like I love them. When I'm out with my girlfriend, we we don't take like any insane drinks. We just take a cocktail and that's it. Yeah, I mean, literally same. If we if we go like uh, you know to a little restaurant or whatever, um, most of the time I'm driving, so like I don't uh, have an actual yeah. cocktail. I'll have a mocktail, which is okay. made without alcohol. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. they still charge like stupid prices for it. <laughs> it's... But it's you know it's a treat, I suppose. Yeah, it's it's something um, nice, you know. Treat yourself, you know. <laughs> exactly exactly i do like as well um my dad actually makes some really it's called a have you ever heard of a baby guinness it's a co it's like a well it's I like a shot so. okay so what it is it's like tia maria and and you know bailey's the irish cream okay yeah the alcoholic ice cream that's like yeah, layered yeah. on top and that it's like a little shot of that it's uh okay really nice. that's that's probably yeah it's sound that sounds good to be honest yeah man fully all right, so... You should drink more. Nah, I don't like drinking, to be honest. <laughs> I don't like drink. If I drink, I get, like, kind of sick, to be honest. 
like instantly. yeah it's i don't mind it but there's never really i never feel like it, what it is for me it's like you have to deal with being drunk like when you get home and it's oh. like it's fun when you're out but then when you get home it's, it's just bad. like well, i don't want to feel like this anymore yeah you know what i mean i want to <laughs> i just want to go to bed and then if you are heavily drinking the morning after you feel absolutely awful and oh. it's not worth it i just i can't see it being worth it so nah, it's not it's not it's not nowadays it's, i don't know how old you are but i'm 24 and i don't think it's worth it <laughs> yeah i'm 26 so yeah it's, i think I'm past that, bro. we're getting old man <laughs> I hate to admit it, but we are getting old. This is it's so crazy. Sad. I don't know what's happening, man. I feel, yeah, the the, the every birthday that goes by, I'm like, again? Yeah. We're here again? Yeah, yeah. I'm like, bro, I'm getting too old now. <laughs> what? Like, I want to be younger. Time needs to slow down. Yeah, you know? I feel yeah. like I've not lived. It's crazy. It's, it is, yeah. I've spent most I of my time that... playing on <laughs> Bro, literally same. I feel I feel like that that COVID lockdown fiasco really didn't help because we lost like so many years. That's true. Yeah, we lost like two or three years. So really, like I'm I'm two years younger. Exactly. Okay. And those years were like the best years. I was like I think I was like nineteen, twenty, and you know th those are like the best exactly. years. Exactly. So. Those are the prime years to be like going out and doing yeah, stuff. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. All right. Good well, time. let's go to the next question. So. Okay, we have a question from Rozzy. He asks, what is the most challenging thing in being a content creator? Ooh, I think uh, probably balancing everything at once, especially because if it was just YouTube, it'd be fine. But then it's also the servers and, you know, I'm kind of in charge of adding new content to the servers, and making sure it's all going well. Uh, so balancing them two things is pretty hard to do and normally when i focus on one the other kind of falls behind okay um but just speaking from like a youtube perspective i would say uh, a regular upload schedule is very yeah, challenging that is true um it's keeping up the the quality uh and just relying on your own brain to to have good ideas constantly because if you ever get like a bit of writer's block or whatever then yeah you're kind of screwed so it's kind of keeping up the consistency which is quite hard i'd okay. say that's the most challenging part okay yeah yeah, i agree with you that is true actually like sometimes i'm like oh i don't want to edit <laughs> but, yeah definitely 100 percent. But... and i feel like even writing it's sort of like to try and keep it new and keep it fresh without recycling ideas it gets pretty tough sometimes I'm like, well, I've done this before. That was kind of like that video, and okay. I don't know. Yeah, but... that, yeah, yeah. I agree with you. Like, if I post two videos that are like similar after each other, I'm like, eh, this is gonna just yeah. be like the same thing. So uh, let me do something else instead. You know? So exactly. So keeping fresh ideas, I think, is definitely a challenge. I'd say that's probably the the okay, probably near the top of the list. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Uh, okay, so we have a question from Bamboo. I think he plays on your server a lot, actually, as well. Oh, so nice. he asked if you're going to do some Christmas event to his server. <laughs> we are indeed working on a Christmas event for the server. Uh, it's I, I, I don't think I can say much about it, to be honest. We haven't really uh, got to like the end of development, even though December is fast approaching. Yep. We'll still probably do it in time. Um, but yeah, we do have a Christmas event that we're working on. So keep an eye out for that, my friend. All right. All right. Yeah, he said that he he enjoyed the Halloween one. So I'm glad. Go. I'm glad. Yeah, it was a it was a banger. To be fair. All right. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um. All right. Let's scroll up. Let's see some questions. Um. Okay. So Dash, I I'm not gonna ask that. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right. So Chisiki asked you. This is a stupid question. No. Let's do something else. Um. What. All right, we have a question from Kukui Charles. Oh, big up. Let's go. Yeah, he asked if you had a good time on this podcast and would you do another podcast in the future? 100%, bro. I actually love doing podcasts. I think they're so fun, like just sitting and chatting with like many people, uh, especially in the intern community. Because think about it, like in real life, you don't have anyone that you can talk really with and like about unturned with oh yeah for sure yeah. I, can't go, I can't go to my friends and be like oh bro do you see this new unturned up there like bro what? i don't care exactly <laughs> you know yeah. so it's nice having like someone especially a content creator as well such as yourself who's like got similar experiences to me it's just nice having just being a chat about it I yeah, so, yeah yeah i love it man. yeah sometimes i tell my girlfriend like oh new unturned map just dropped and you know like how much the hype is right now because a new map and she's like yeah okay <laughs> that's good it's insane you know what 
I like I actually was play well my girlfriend was playing uh Life RP. We did uh, I think it was last Christmas. We did a Christmas update okay. and she was playing the quest line and she was like this is actually so fun. I want to I want to play uh, properly. Oh, that's sick. Okay. Yeah, I showed her I made her play it once. It was aired and she was like like Okay, this is fun, but this is too hard for me, you know. <laughs> so yeah, I, you know what? I reckon it probably would be because we're so used to playing it. Like, yeah, I yeah. can imagine if you had to play it for the first time, especially getting arid. thrown in the deep end. I told her arid, yeah. bro. It's like one of the hardest maps as well. I didn't start exactly. off with like that's, washing. That's probably not a good idea to yeah, go for yeah. that first. I was like, uh, she was like, "What is this?" I'm like, "That's a log." <laughs> <laughs> it was fun though. She had a good time though. So. I'm glad, man. I'm glad. I still need to get get my girlfriend on there properly because I think she'd love it. To be fair, but I'll probably stick her on like Washington or something. Yeah, yeah, something, something kind of not hard, but you know, something mm, where definitely. mainly beginners play on, like PI, for example. Absolutely. All right, so we have another question from Edison, and they asked, "Who's your favorite content creator in general? Like, who's your favorite YouTuber that you watch?" Of all time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, okay. My favorite of all time, it has to be Frankie on PC. I don't know if you've heard of him. You might not have. He's I, quite I an old school so. YouTuber. I think so, yeah. I think, I think I've heard He's of him. He's the guy that inspired me to even make YouTube videos in the style that I did. So he used to do a bunch of uh, Armour 3 Daisy, like basically movies. Oh, damn, um, okay. And I was obsessed with them. They were insane quality. They were unbelievably well made. Uh, and that was kind of what inspired me to, yeah, like make videos. I was like, you know what? I want to make stuff like this, but I'm not going to do it on this game. Okay. And then I was like, well, I really like Unturned and there's no one doing it in Unturned. So I'm going to, I'm going to do it. And I did. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, he is absolutely top of the list. He's the only person I have notifications on for on YouTube. Damn. Okay. And he doesn't post a lot at all. He kind of, he kind of dipped about six years ago for a long time. Oh, and, okay. Uh, yeah. And then Can he... He came back six years later. I remember because I, <laughs> I was actually at my girlfriend's house when he uploaded for the first time in six years, and I like, I, like screamed out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's yeah, like, "What? What?" <laughs> I was like, "Frankie's uploaded." She's like, "Who the fuck is that?" <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, dude, so that that's insane. Actually, that's the yeah. Six years it's is such man. a long time as well. Six years. I don't even know what happened, bro. Like he, he just. Yeah, he just dipped. But if you do get a chance to, and if you're interested in that stuff, bro, you will not regret it. He is amazing. He's yeah, I'll check amazing. him out. I think I've seen a video of his actually, like a really long time ago. Yeah, though. you probably have. He used to do like Battlefield stuff as well. So okay, yeah, I, th I think so then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah, but he's just very comforting. He's very comforting to watch. That's for sure. Yeah, I love that. I love that. Okay, so... Uh, let's get ourselves one final question. This question is from Chris. So he asked, okay, so from your channel, what is the worst video that you have ever made? My opinion of the worst video I've ever made. Um, <laughs> oh, that's a bloody tough question. It is, you know? yeah. I wouldn't even know where to start, to be honest. Like, Do you know what usually happens? I'll upload a video and I'll be like, oh, this isn't that good. I'm not really too proud of it. I'll upload it. People will love it. And I'll be like, okay, it's good. Um, but if I were to pick one, my goodness, this is tough. I'd have to go back to like before the Life RP series. There's definitely been a few episodes in Life RP series which wasn't the best. Um, okay. But if I was to pick one, wow, this is tough. I'm scrolling down my channel right now as we speak. Uh. <laughs> there was an episode of the Survival RP series which just I didn't like it at all. And I think it, I can't remember what happened now, but it was, I started this whole storyline with like, curing a zombie and we were gonna like oh okay basically cure the apocalypse and then i just abandoned the idea so now that one video is just so pointless um so I see. It, all right yeah all right. It, it's really pointless uh apart from that apart from that i did a vr video which i think was a bit crap and it was i did it with quaz was red actually uh... and it was on a game called zero caliber and it was it was all right but from what I remember, it was just, I remember at the time I was just trying to like, I was trying to get views on VR videos. So I just uploaded it, even though it wasn't that good because I just wanted to post more VR stuff. I see. I mean, uh, if it worked, like, you know, I guess. Yeah. It, but it worked, but then, I suppose you know? I haven't watched that video since I've made it. It was years ago, but I, maybe it wasn't as bad as I remember. Okay. okay. Um, 
apart from that though yeah i that's probably that's probably what i can say in terms of unturned videos crikey uh it's a hard question to be honest it really is a hard question it's basically like asking me which one of my children would i line up and shoot exactly you know, like, exactly yeah yeah <laughs> it's a tough one it's a, it's a very tough one um i'm on the spot i really am yeah i have to say <laughs> it, it, it has to be one of the old ones right where the, it's just not like <laughs> yeah something from the beginning probably you know like like one of the f- yeah, very understood. first v- like one of the v- first videos or something like that's what probably i would say to be honest like, i could probably say as a collective as a collective the survival series i'm not it was fun while i was doing it but looking back i'm not like insanely proud of it i think some storylines were good some episodes were good but there was a lot in there which it kind of got to the point where i was doing it just to do it and that's why i ended it um so towards the end of the survival series it yeah it got a bit weird and i wasn't really vibing with it so i don't think those videos really would be my proudest moments okay okay all right yeah i mean that's okay. I mean, to be honest, like, without bad videos, you wouldn't have good videos. That's you, it. You would, if you, yeah, I mean, if you don't know what bad is, how are you going to know? How are you going to know what good is? Exactly. So, we all, we, all start, we all start with bad videos, to be honest. My first video oh, was, I'm such a... this was insane. Sorry, go on. So, I, oh, I started, bro, yeah. I, start, I didn't even start with Unturned. I started with, like, horror games at the start. I did Slenderman. And Hell yeah. It was like 200 by 200 pixels resolution, and the rest was just a black screen. <laughs> yeah, it was it was bad. Did you have the big uh, bandicam.com logo at the top? No, it wasn't water. bandicam. It was fraps. <laughs> it was fraps. Fraps, bro. I remember fraps. Do you remember XSplit as well? That was a no. I never one. used. I used bandicam and oh, fraps. No, I didn't use yeah. that one. Those were terrible, man. I remember that. Bloody crazy. Just the software just never. It hardly worked when it did. Yeah. It had like a, Marcus. It oh, was man. crazy. Yeah, when OBS launched, I was bad so these days. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, dude. switching to OBS was just, yeah, night and day for me. <laughs> but um, yeah, 100%. I think my early videos, like before, you know, the channel kind of took off was, yeah. it was like Minecraft, I believe. Yeah, I was doing like Minecraft to start with. All oh. these videos are private now. But I was did like a little Minecraft series. I was a little squeaker. And uh, I did so many <laughs> Minecraft videos where it was crazy. Yeah. So I'm really glad they're private. And then um, I even did a few unturned videos. Like, they didn't get views or anything, but um, they're, they're on the channel, I think, still. But then uh, when I started doing, like, raiding videos uh... in 2016, that's when I started noticing, like, views going up. And I think I was a bit better at making videos then. It probably helped. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, like, when you see your channel going up as well, you do try to get yourself to do better content as well so they don't leave oh, for absolutely. example so it, i think everyone starts off from the same place like we barely don't know what we're doing but we're just doing <laughs> it for fun so yeah everyone starts I think each from video there. is a learning experience exactly sure. yeah yeah that's true that's true 100%. even just a little bit of an editing tip here and there it's it's you know yeah it's without that, i'm still learning new things all the time like uh even if there's like some specific edit i need and i've never done it before and you'll just Google it and you know how exactly, to do it then. Exactly, yeah, yeah. True, it's in true. your brain forever. Like, so, yeah, I, I recently learned how to do green screen stuff, like, uh, two oh, months yeah. ago. Because I was, like, experimenting with the camera for, like, face cam videos, but the border being with green screen. It's It was... Yeah. Do you learn new stuff every day? Yeah, green screen. Which is it's great. It's good, man. It's good. I've done a few green screen stuff, like, in-game itself. Uh, I couldn't even point you to a video where I've done it, but... I think the big episode 100 video i did quite a bit of it in fact yeah i did quite a lot of it in there we had so many weird hurdles we needed to go off like we needed to be stood on top of a moving plane but obviously you can't oh, stand on top of a moving vehicle exactly in so yeah yeah we did a mix between i basically got um a developer very talented developer to uh make a, the, the same plane but as a barricade um still animated and everything so it looked like it was flying then we just stood on top of it and then we mixed it in with a bit of green screen when we needed to like jump off of it or jump on it or whatever may be the case. So okay. there's, when there's like specific scenes like that, yeah, editing takes a while. <laughs> I need to bring out the stops for that. Yeah, it's it's not an easy thing to be completely honest either. It's a bit like, like doing it frame by frame, for example. It's crazy. Oh, I've had a few of them. Yeah, like I've, I've had to like mask things before yeah, frame by yeah, frame. Yeah. And that's, 
yeah it's it takes a while <laughs> but the result is so worth it like this oh, yeah, is why sure. editing yourself is like so rewarding because you you do it and then you look back and you're like wow that i did that I, I did, did that yeah. yeah i didn't pay someone i did that <laughs> exactly bro all right um okay so that concludes the podcast uh, i had a great time man this was actually a really fun podcast yeah this was super fun bro thanks for having me on i really appreciate of it of course of course all right so uh before we before we head off, I'm going to give a shout out to the sponsors for the podcast. Much love to the sponsors. So, um, firstly, we have ourselves Pine Hosting. If you guys want to get yourself some unturned servers, they do other games as well, such as Rush Project, Rust Project Zomboid or Minecraft. Uh, make sure to use code LDG for 30% off. Make sure to check out Amox Studios as well, who work with you to make your mods and your maps. Um, exclamation yeah. Amox. I think you've used Amox in the past, right? I've not used them directly, but... Uh... I kind of is it is is that's by local. Does local own that? Local owns that. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I thought it was the owner. I didn't. I didn't know if he was like just a high-ranking member of it. Or I'm pretty sure. Oh uh, like, yeah. no, no, he's uh, the owner. Loco yeah, yeah. is is like a full-time dev for Life RP. So oh, I guess, okay. You know, so I mean, yeah. So exact. So he works he, with, with you guys then as he's well. He's a talented guy. Yeah, he is insane, bro. Like you should see some of the. I mean, I'm sure if you've worked with uh, him before, you've seen what he's done, but. He is He's amazing. insane, bro. So, I, I mean, I'm not even getting paid for this, but, bro, definitely, if you need all your mod in the... Check out Amox. Now, exclamation Amox. Because <laughs> uh, some of the stuff he's shown me, even recently as well, like, uh, he's only recently kind of joined the team fully. Okay. And he's already pulled out some insane dev work. It's, it's incredible, so... Yeah, I've, yeah. I've, and I, also, bro, check out Pine Hosting. I'm, oh, I'm not yeah. gonna, I, I, can't, I can't give love to Amox and not give love to Pine of Hosting. They, they, they do me well as well. You know, I love Pine Hosting. You, so. Your servers on Pine Hosting. You use Pine my, Hosting. So my server, my server's like independent. So I just like pay for the machine. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, okay. It, okay. Would, it, it would be with Pine Hosting, but uh, by the time I actually started working with them it'd be too much hassle to like uh, get all the server and move it all over because we have a bunch of like website systems set up where okay. they all need to, to kind of talk to each other we have multiple servers and all that kind of stuff so um it would be on pine hosting but any new servers that we get i'm sure um i'm sure pine hosting wouldn't mind hooking me up right? oh yeah of course of course shout out pine hosting man they Hell were yeah. here last shout week they were amazing they as were. well yeah yeah that was it was amazing they were showing me their they're servers. Yeah, they're doing they're doing a really good job. So it's incredible, bro. They're, yeah, they're I love them, man. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> All right, and finally, we have ourselves Restore Monarchy, who, uh, if you want to check them out, they have free and paid professional plugins, like most plugins that you see on servers nowadays are from Restore Monarchy. Um, and they also do a ton of guides regarding Unturned and also the plugins that they that they post so huge shout out to those sponsors huge shout outs obviously to nilex for being a, a guest for this podcast third podcast and it was really 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 fun so absolutely man thank you again I, no I worries really man no worries fun. it was a lot of fun yeah thank you again man thank you likewise bro